quick question. What are you guys doing like over the Christmas period? Are you just gonna like still put in the work or are you saying a few days off? Or you know, let me know in the comments down below because I'm quite curious because I'm quite big on Christmas. Like I do think Christmas should be spent with family, should be taking like time off, but I don't know, there's sort of about this year where I really, really want to put in the work. I really just want to like keep getting at it, keep tr like trying to like get like a head start to 2018. But anyway, uh, been quite a productive day today. Got up at six, went to the gym between seven and eight. I mean, breakfast got like a lot of work done. Uh, Facebook ads doing stuff for brand Panier. And then in the minute, in well, in 30 minutes, I got like my first meeting of this weekend. Got one more tomorrow and then possibly one more on Sunday. Uh, about social media marketing and it's like a new upcoming project. It's like an online platform. I can't really say too much about it because it's like, it's not a startup, it's like a restart. Yeah, let me just leave it like that. It's a restart, it's rebuilding an old brand that's I'm not going to say it anymore. But anyway, the very interesting brand here and my services. So uh, I'm going to finish up here, finish my coffee, and then I'm going to head to the meeting. All right, guys, so I've arrived at like, the place where we're having the meeting. And to be honest, I'm not at that confidence level yet where I'm like confident enough to bring me camera with me to like vlog part of the meeting. I'm not doing that but like after the meeting I'll come back and tell you guys how it went. Uh, a little bit of a different strategy this time towards this meeting. Like after a uh, business call with Isaac gave me a few little pointers about meetings and like how he's supposed to like structure the meetings and stuff like that but make it come off like uh, very natural, very like informal basically but still have like that strategy in mind. So we're gonna see if it works and I'll let you guys know in a minute. Hey right, guys, I just got back from that meeting. I'm so motivated right now. That is unbelievable. That meeting, it meet, the meeting went well. I really got like, I really found out like, what their mindset is and like what you really want and what like, like what do you want to do now and why now and like what their business is going to be like, how they're going to scale it and all that. We really delved into like what their problem is and what they want from me and what they expect from me. Uh, we're going to meet up next week and then see if I can close like the deal or see if they like, if we can work together. But really, like, we were really like on, on like one level at, a, at, a, at one moment and like they understand like the value behind social media marketing and what the potential is as well with social media marketers. Sometimes clients don't really understand like what it is and just like, you just think like, okay, you, you do something, just do it and but these guys really understand like what, uh, like what you can achieve with social media. Yeah, yeah, man. And the uh, whole over an app website or something. But she, but so for me, this will in the dad. But she's like you said, the whole she will like echt gewoon die social media marketing en zo. Die moet gewoon on point zijn. Zodat zij dat niet hoeven te doen. Maar dat is groot. Dat is eigenlijk al. Ja, man, dat is keihard. Gaan ze zich echt specialiseren in een bepaald doelgroep? Nu hebben ze echt een uh, hele visie dragen, dus dat is wel dood, man. Ja, man. Dus als jij daarmee ook kan uh, meegroeien, dat is gewoon groeien. Uh, so I'll say, do you, have a, do you currently have a plan to fix this? Sometimes I'll say, well, you're supposed to be the plan, which is right where you need them, right? Well, I might say what type of revenue increase, if they don't want to give you a dollar number. And so I might say just in terms of percentages, you don't have to tell me what your, your sales numbers are yet. My guy needs to be a bit quiet because it's already past midnight, but uh, as you can see, I've done the Joe Soto course. Uh, and then I just got like busy doing some edits. So this is actually like the video you seen before this. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out. Subscribe a session. Uh, good little edit. But anyway, I'm gonna hit the hay because I've got another meeting tomorrow morning, which I will document. I'll show you guys. I'll bring you guys along with me. So see you in the morning. What's going on, guys? Same desk, different day. Uh, just finished like the edit of uh, last Monday's video, and now I've got a meeting uh, in Horn as well about a uh, videography so basically it's a company that wants to sort of like hire me or get me on like uh, i'm not sure if it's like on a retainer basis or if it's like that they just want like one-off projects that's what i'm gonna find out in a minute but basically they want me to do like videography projects for them so that that is where we're gonna go to now and i've just looked outside and well first of all it's cold but second of all all the cars are gone as well so bike life again the dutch bike life gotta love it Guys, we made it. Oh, a little coffee machine, guys. Nice, likely. 
Nice little setup. What's going on guys? Hope you can hear me because it is quite windy, but meeting went well. Basically what they want me to do is instead of like social media marketing, they want me to just really focus on like videography, videos, creating content for them. And uh, basically they've got loads of events coming up like in the summer, like festivals, stuff like that. And they want someone to like document it for them for like future festivals and also to like recruit uh, people to work on the festival. So sounds good. Definitely sounds like my cup of tea. Uh, I'll speak to you guys like when I get home because it's too windy here anyway. <sighs> Alright guys, back again at headquarters. I understand that this might not have been like the most entertaining video to watch, but like I said, I'm also just documenting my brand Paneer journey just for myself as well. Like for example, I think it was like two videos ago, I had two meetings as well, and I was like a bit, I, I didn't really think they went too well, and like these last two meetings have gone much better. So even for me, that is also some kind of like progression, progressive overload on the meetings. So uh, that's just what I want to document. I want to be able to look back on it and see like, okay, you know, I have made some, uh, I have made progression, I've experienced some things, I'm getting be better at like sales or getting better at clothes and stuff like that. So uh, like I said, these two meetings went well. Uh, if you want to know like how I get like, like I have got like quite a lot of meetings, I've got two meetings next week and then in January I've got three meetings again. Uh, the way I do it is basically, hang on, uh, sure. basically what I do is I give 10% commission to anyone that can get me either a client or a project. So say for example I get, uh, I get a client on a retainer for a thousand euros, then that person who has got me that client gets a hundred euros for every month that that client is with me. That is just like a, it's a good little incentive to to get people to you know be on the lookout for like clients and projects for me as well. Like obviously it's gonna be much more realistic if it's coming from them. Like if they go to their own boss and say, hey, listen, you know I've noticed that uh, we haven't got anyone doing our social media. I've got a guy that is good at it. That's much more real realistic than me going to that cl uh, client and going like, listen, your social media is shit and I can do it better. You know there's a bigger chance of of them going. Uh, choosing me if his own employee recommends me then me doing it myself anyway just want to like pass it on to you guys i don't know if anyone's into social media marketing or anything like that but think about it you know try and give commission out to people that are loyal to you and that recommend you to others anyway guys uh, like this video if you enjoy like watching a uh, like brand paneer business type of videos comment down below what kind of videos you want to see next do you want more content creation type videos or drop more fitness related videos subscribe to the channel when you do click on the little bell so you get a notification thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one gotta do what i gotta do